What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. We're going to do a video on my world boss attempts. So three teams, three attempts, three attacks. Um, we'll see how much damage we can do. And it'll be like a bit of an infamous, I know it's a little bit late. It's a few days late. I did put out a world boss like tip in, the, uh, in a video the other day. But we may as well do it together on a video so that you can maximize your damage. You know, there is only three days left on the uh, world boss but it may help you push a little bit more damage um and knowing kind of just what goes together and i know not everyone has three full teams of a5 heroes um but this should give you some kind of idea at least you could possibly build one really strong team um so just first things first i'm really liking i'm really 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 liking this new home page I think it's really good and when we log in we see this now I think it's really good so no one misses out on any events we can see what's in settlement we can see what's starting soon and yes of course hero's gift is in seven hours miracle wish a lot of people can be pushing for that one and uh, like plastic currency so we just don't miss out and you know we can prepare easier we don't have to click on say the calendar to, to, to see everything so that's good okay enough enough ranting let's uh let's go and challenge the world boss look at bjo skiller here look at these two going at it at like 10 million between them 10 million between them i think this is clee i think this is clee and clee is um is a very good player and bjo is a very good player as well but 10 million between them that is so close let's just have a little look at the rankings elsewhere uh obviously i've still got my free attacks to do today we'll see where we end up i think i was like fifth yesterday bjo clee dirty combo 67 ursh fell tornado nakari hoaxer devious enkill and you know it, it these are all top top players um clearly know what they're doing and it you know it's, it's funny because I see these guys often in, in in everything and it's it's just good to see where people are sitting you know how, how far does it go down i guess it goes all the way but you know there's a lot of people sitting close together and then it sort of when we get up to the top 10 i think it it sort of expands a bit no it doesn't it's just the top two is it it's just the top two. It's just the top two. <laughs> Completely obliterating the competition. Uh, guild rankings. Wow. Bulls GC is in third as well. Oh my goodness. The battle for third is real. Who's going to get this? Who's going to get the guild symbol? Bulls GC, Mystic or TMT. Obviously, we know who I'm rooting for. Obviously. Um, but 20 billion now on, on the damage. That's all of them sitting so close. Uh, well, third, that's disgusting. That's just disgusting. Um, okay, we're going <laughs> to... Uh, we're going to challenge the boss. Now, I haven't set up. I haven't set up my preset lineups uh, because I don't know if you guys have seen my preset lineups, but they're so messy. Just look at this. I only have one team named. And it, oh no, two. Yeah, and it, it's just, I don't even know what does what here, to be honest. I could probably delete all of these and it wouldn't matter. Okay, you know what? You know what? Let's quickly build a couple of smart teams uh, so that you guys can also build your team with it that makes sense that makes sense okay so the first team we're going to be using is um in, in no order it doesn't really matter with this about Catherine, ben austin lucifer guhana um yeah and mive and hisaro Yes, I know. Isaro. We'll explain why this works in a moment. Um, we'll explain why this works in a moment. Save it. Okay, right, we're going to go in. Obviously, 
Ben Austin, we're going to ban Regal Might or Regal Might. We're only going to use his King's Majesty because we want that resistance debuff on the boss at all times so that he cannot buff. Um, because, you know, he's buffing defense and resistance up. Lucifer, we're going to want to start with Hidden. Whenever that's available, we're going to want to use it. That's because it's Feebleness 2. Okay, this is, this is huge. Extra damage by 40%. Um, Guhana, we're going to want to go straight into the battle with speed down. Straight away, speed down, speed up for our team. Oh my goodness, it's not even fully leveled up. We're doing that. Oh my god. What's wrong with me? Okay. Um, into battle with Maeve, straight away. Disarming arrow. That's because it's defense down too. And it also puts on two layers of slumber mark. Meaning, we're reducing the speed even more. So speed down two and slumber down. The boss is just so slow. What does this mean for Hisaro? Obviously, we're going to go straight in and we're going to put dismembering on for the stacks of bleeds. With the paired up joint attacks from Ben Olsen and how slow the boss is. Make sure we can always get full advantage of open wounds. So we can always trigger six layers. You know, and if we've got a debuff on us, because sometimes, sometimes we will have attack down on us. Um, because we don't have a cleanser in this team. It won't be a huge, huge problem for us, though. It won't be a huge, huge problem for us. Um, you know, the other thing I could have done is I could have thrown in Hisonia, but Hisaro with this team is doing very, very well. It's doing very, very well. Very, very, very well. Uh, let's edit the name of this. Well, boss one. I need to start doing this. It's so easy, right? Now, now I know what it does. Now I know what, exactly what it does. Okay. Next team. Wait, no. We'll, we'll test this team first. But first, I need to upgrade Guhana's skills. Because that is just silly. And we just have enough. Perfect. Wonderful. That's, that's, that's awesome. Okay, we're going to go straight in and we're going to attack the boss. We'll see what kind of damage can be done on auto. So you can see it's straight in with slumber down, defense down, feebleness down, resistance buff down, um, loads of bleeds. He, he is so slow now. Just look at his turn meter with Maeve and speed down and then with our team of speed up as well. It's the perfect combination. It's just, it works so, so nice. Um, another hero you could use is Eden. Eden for the speed up and speed up. Or space as well. Space is very good for this as well. Um, turn me to increase speed down, speed up. Obviously her basic, the boss is immune to, um, turn me to reductions. So. Where are we at? 76 million. Yeah, the good thing is the boss is never going to have buffs on him thanks to Ben Austin with this team. Already at 92 million in four turns. Literally insane. Literally insane. Okay. Another thing, we do have um, the, the damage aura on... What is, it? is it Combat Vanguard aura on Maeve? It's only level 2 though. It is increasing damage. All damage dealt by, I think... 22 or 24%, so that's a big increase to our damage as well. Bear that in mind. Um, we don't have combat, uh, skill master aura though for this team, that would increase our damage even more. But we've got nine bleeds on the boss, and you know what? You can actually tell when we haven't got quite as many slumber downs on the boss, you can just see his turn meter moving more. And the good thing is. Ben Austin with Maeve as well is making sure we have a, a good amount of slumber downs fast. Okay, it may disappear, but it will come back fast as well. So, and but every each layer is five percent. Can we hit four hundred million with this team? I would love to see four hundred million with this team. Yesterday I did it with his Zonya in place of Lucifer, and I think we had like was it? Was it three eight? Let me go, let me go and find out. I think it was like three hundred eighty four million or something. See if I can find it just while this battle is ongoing. Okay, so this exact same team, 
but with Hisonia in place of Lucifer, I had 353 million. However, Hisonia did 155 million damage and Hisaro did 119 million damage. Maybe it would have been better for me to throw in Hisonia instead of Hisaro. Hisaro doesn't have quite as good gear as my Hisonia, so I think that's what that is. And another fact is we're using Guhana, we're not gonna have, you know, the buff for Hisonia is, is nothing, the, the attack up, we have no health up here either. I think we're gonna hit 400, I think we'll hit 400. We need these debuffs on now. When's your next one, Lucifer, come on. Another thing as well with Ben Austin is, is that when our allies are, are stunned like this, and Ben Austin is using his skill 4, he's cleansing any control effects on our team. You know, that that's so valuable, so valuable. Okay, Feebinus 2 is on. Oh, we're not going to reach. We lost a couple of turns there. We lost a couple of turns because of the, the bad RNG on the stuns. So what was it? 353 I said on the previous one. Are we going to get close to it? 347. 347. Hisaro out damaging my Lucifer. 136 million. Maeve doing 89 million. Lucifer only 113. Maybe his gear is not quite good enough. Maybe his gear isn't quite. It could even be his aura. He doesn't have like a legend aura or anything like that. Um, so that could have been potential to it as well. Where has that put me in the rankings? Number seven. Okay, how far are we? Oh, okay, we're close. We should be able to get up to around fourth, fifth. Okay, let's build another team. Okay, we're on to our second team. Now we need to think. We need to think, and that's dangerous because when I think, mistakes are made. Mistakes are made when I think. All right, so Gilliman comes in first. That's because we get speed down on the boss. We also get debuffs, okay? And we get resistance debuff from her basic, meaning the boss is normally not going to be buffing. If we pair her with Catherine, that means also on a counter attack, she's always going to be using her basic attack, meaning that resistance debuff is always there. So that's another good factor to have for our team here. But now, where do we get the majority of our damage from? We could go with something like Hoff and Hisonia, because Hoff also puts feebleness on, as well as as well as um. As well as defense down and tenacity down, which would be very good for Gilliman. Gilliman, but this feebleness one, don't you know? It's twenty percent. I know it's not like massive, but it is very nice. And don't forget, in other content, this is AOE feebleness down, so that is very, very good as well. Our fifth hero: Gilliman, Catherine, Hoff, Hisonia. Now. I would like speed up. I could throw in space. I think we'll save space. But now I'm concerned that Hazonia will not get the layers of health burn that we need. He may do. He may do. And it is a he. Do you know how many people have messaged me lately saying is it a she? I've said from day one, it's a trap, okay? It's definitely a he. And someone said to me, well, if it was a she, they would have called her him Shizonia, but he's called Hisonia, so that's a little giveaway as well. Now I'm considering either using no, I'm considering using Paulin for the extra fifty percent health cap increase. Or I could throw in Nidrold. Or I could throw in Nidrold. I know this is going to be a long video, but it's important. It's important. Because it gives people ideas for their teams. So Nidrod is going to be a, a huge part to this team. A huge part to this team. 
as well. And he's going to benefit from the Feebleness Dam. He's also going to get cleansed by Catherine on the Attack Dam. And the stuns. And he's going to keep his bleeds up with the counter attacks. Which makes me wonder what's going to be our next team. Okay, I'm going with this team. We're going to see what he can do. We're going to see what he can do. Let's set up a, a smart casting for it. And we're going to start with Intellectual Prison to get that speed down on straight away. Um, the boss shouldn't buff. Okay. I think... I think it may be best just to use her basic attack first. Yeah, it, just so we get that resistance debuff on, so it's there, So the, because I think the boss buffs on the second turn, so that's going to be there. We're going to start with counter attack selected first, okay, first skill to be used, and then favourable to be used as well. So then a solid guardian brings down the time on this, um, the cooldown on it. Hoff will be, his first one is going to... No, because he comes in with that, so that's pointless. He comes in with that, so it's going to be the health burn straight away. He, with exclusive free, he will always cast this instantly at the beginning of a wave. Um, his Onya is going to come straight in with Dragon Flame. We may as well. Kind of debating leaving it a wave or two, but then Hoff's going to put on two health burns. He's going to trigger one. This will be okay. And I'll leave Bully on. I'm going to leave Bully on. I'm going to leave Bully on. That may be a mistake. That may be a mistake, but we'll see. And Sword Flurry, of course, for Nidrold. Okay, now do we have everything in order that we want it? Yeah, this is fine. Okay, so Gieleman going first. Catherine for Feebleness 2 as well. Don't forget Catherine does Feebleness 2. So Hoff with that Feebleness 1 isn't huge as well. Oh... This is making me consider changing half. But then we're getting a defense down and tenacity down for Gilliman. But we could bring in Melia instead. No. We're saving Melia for the other team. And I'll tell you why. That's because when she's in Valkyrie form, she's immune to any CC. Whereas these heroes aren't immune to these. We need Catherine for the cleanse. Okay. All right, we're good. Let's go. Second team incoming. Why? I should have put my Gilliman with her ultimate first. Goodness sake. It's not the end of the world, but it wasn't ideal. I didn't realize that she was slower than Panda. I didn't realize. Gutting that affects resistance could have made a bit of a difference. Let's hope it doesn't mess up the rotation. It shouldn't do because we're always going to. She is stunned now, meaning resistance debuff isn't there. Now it is. We're safe. Okay. We also have combat vanguard or just a box standard level zero on in Gilliman for that extra damage taken. She is in first in lineup. That's because counter attack does take in order from our heroes that are placed. So she'll go first, then Catherine, then Hoff, then Hazonia, then Nidrold. Nidrold skips a turn, just missed out there from our Catherine. Four health burns are on. No bleeds because of that skip turn. A nice amount of debuffs. You know, that's another thing as well. Is the boss is getting effect resistance down from our Hoff. So that's nice as well. Hazonia is stunned and he is not going to recover because Catherine is too late. Three health burns on the boss. 109 million after 14 turns. You can see the difference. Especially you can even see the difference in how fast the boss is going, right? We don't always have speed down on. And we don't have speed up on our allies. Now we've got speed down on. Okay, good timing there from our Catherine. Four health burns, four bleeds. I don't think Nidroll's done a huge amount here. He hasn't had the best kind of turns. 
Is he going to get one more turn with his... Yeah, he does get Sword Flurry one more time. You know, I'll take 160. I'll take that. That's okay. Yeah, 164. That's actually not bad for a second team. That's very good for a second team. Nidrold and Hisonia very close on the damage score here. Gieleman doing 23 million, but was a big support to our team with the debuffs and the speed down and resistance debuff. Hoff did 23 million, but he also increased our damage slightly as well and effect resistance down. So it could, maybe Milia would have scored us higher, but we did have a good amount of health burns on throughout that fight. Okay, that puts us in to sixth. I'm not going to reach. Third, Dirty Combo is, is smashing me. But we're going to get into fourth. We're going to get into fourth, so I'm very happy with that. In fact, what are the rewards on that? You know, it's pretty nice. How, you know, I feel like, I feel like the top three should have got a special, a special avatar frame. Or at least the top 100. Does the top 100 change that? Okay, so it's only the top 100 that get the avatar. <laughs> this is quite a cool avatar though. So only the top people are going to be pushing. So you, hopefully you appreciate the video because it could help you push. Some of you may also dislike it because you want people not to know. And that's, that's fair enough, I understand. But we don't do that here. We like people to know everything. We like people to know everything. Okay. Laval, attack up. Attack up. Space, speed down, speed up. Turn me to increase. Melia for solo health burns. Elena could be for debuffs. Can we get a resistance debuff? Do I use slack though? Oh, do I use slack though? We have speed down. Slack though brings resistance debuff and he also brings debuffs. You know what? I'm even tempted to use Taff. To use Taff. I would really need another poisoner for that. We could use Paulin because he also. He also cleanses. And the half cap increase from Leo. Or do I bring in Besmok? Besmok. Could bring in Besmok. In place of Powell in here. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really, <laughs> I'm really trying. I'm really trying. Um, Acto. Slavao's good. Space is good. Malia. I could either use Elena in place of space and then remove Slack Doe and put in like Besmok or We're not gonna speed up though. Okay. Is Slavelle worth being in here for the attack up? Only Slack is really going to benefit and herself. But we could bring in. Even Madalena. Should we give Madalena a showcase in this?
Thanks down. No. No, we don't. Um, I'm getting there, guys. Okay, we're going with this. We're rolling with this. It probably could be better. Maybe. Maybe. Um... However, we're going to go straight in with Nightmare for the speed down and speed up on our team. Um, we're going to go straight in with Frenzied Hammer Blows because this is what causes resistance debuff. Dust roar, uh, Storm Roar will debuff. Considering that, I should have checked the speed of the boss. To be safe. To be safe, we're going with the debuff first. Is that going to be safe, though? Okay. You know what? To be totally safe, we're going to buff everyone's speed with with fission of life. Fission of life. Then we're gonna we're gonna debuff of nightmare. Uh, speed down and speed up. So that's a safe bet. Then, obviously, we're gonna Valkyrie first all the time. And Paulin, wow. We want that health buff for Malia. Let me just make sure Malia has her gear on. Okay. Um, and Slack don't. I'm pretty sure I possibly removed something from it. I didn't. Okay. And so Val. But her aura. Okay. Then we're good. We're good. Okay. Make sure that it's set to it. It is. And I forgot to save these preset lineups, but... Okay. Off we go. We see how we do. Straight in with resistance debuff, which is okay. Four layers of health burn instantly. Health up has gone now. 770k health burn. Six. Not bad from Ilya. And she should keep a very good amount of stacks on the enemy it should always be around five minimum being four minimum being four she's like the, the queen of health burn as a solo hero okay she can keep all five stacks on a boss on her own black though is stunned Hoping that's not going to cause us any issues with the buffs on the boss. We just don't want this. Okay, good. Because I think that was the buff. So that worked out perfect. Four health burns. Getting another turn. Five health burns. Perfect. If it can score 130, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with 130. You know what? Paulin and Melia isn't great. Because if, if Melia uses her Valkyrie and then she hits, health cap's gone. The health cap is gone. Okay, it'll hit here. That will work. But sometimes she's just going to remove it by using Valkyrie like that. Maybe we can hit 140. One... Surely we can't hit 150. If we get lucky on the stuns, we could do. Speed down, speed up. It's... Actually, it's looking very promising. It's looking very promising. Okay. One, two, five. I said 130, 140 I've been happy with. We're at 134 now. Can we push to 140? We should. Bang on 140. Maybe 145. There's a nuke. 
Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm actually super... Look at this damage by Malia on her own as health burn. 90 million. Slack though doing 14 million, but he was almost support with us there. Slavao doing 38 million on her own. Um, actually a very, very nice... Nice. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. That was actually very good scores all in all. Very good scores all in all. And it puts me in fourth. Not too far behind Dirty Combo. Can I catch him? Can I catch Dirty Combo? I don't think so. Oh, BJO's gone. Okay, I thought BJO had attacked. Maybe he hadn't even attacked. Oh, that's scary. Brilliant guy. Okay. So that's that. I hope that helps some of you. I hope it helps all of you, to be honest, because that's that's the idea. I hope it helps all of you. Um, with and I am going to leave like all the talking in as well. I know it's at the end. It's too late. It's not like I'm streaming live. I'm going to leave all the talking in as well, so that you guys can understand my reasoning for selecting those heroes. Because maybe it will help you in other content as well. Maybe you'll think, well, hang on, maybe I can use this somewhere out even campaign you know maybe i can use it for that kind of thing um although we don't really need a lot of support here we don't need heals and protection as such so bear that in mind as well and on that note thank you very much for watching everyone all of you i really appreciate all of the support you give me you're all fantastic make sure you click like subscribe and comment below to help this channel grow take care everyone have a great day evening wherever you are